Hello everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. So today we're going to be making a beet vegetable soup. So before we dive into our recipe, I just wanted to take a moment and say a huge thank you uh, for all being part of Fat Boy Cooking. Uh, your support means the world to me, whether you're trying out the recipe, watching the video, or just leaving a comment. So remember, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that way you don't miss out on any of my videos. So with that being said, let's grab our apron, let's get our ingredients, and let's make some beef vegetable soup. For your beef vegetable soup, you're going to need the following. A beef roast, beef broth, brown gravy mix, your favorite seasoning, I'm using Tony Sachery's, uh, your favorite hot sauce, some beef bouillon cubes, cabbage, carrots, green beans, and peas. So I've added our chicken broth to a large pot and um, what, I, what we're going to do now is add in our beef roast and as you can see I've cut these into about one inch pieces so we're going to add this in then we're going to add enough water to cover the beef and so right now I'm adding in about four cups. Give this a quick stir, and I'm adding in my Cajun seasoning. Give that a quick stir, and now we're going to bring this up to about a medium high, and we're going to cover this up and let this cook for about two hours till the beef is fork tender. So this has been going for about an hour, so what we need to do is we need to check the level of our broth. Alright, so we're going to add about another four cups of water to our pot. Alright, so this has been going a little bit over an hour and a half, and our meat is tender. So, as you can see, a lot of the liquid has boiled out, so we are going to add in another four cups of water. And we're also going to add in our beef bouillon cubes. And we're going to add in our baby carrots. Um, I'm using baby carrots, uh, but if you want, you can use the sliced carrots. That's up to you completely. And we're going to give this a good mix. And let this cook for roughly 30 minutes or so before we start adding the rest of our ingredients. So this has been going about 30 minutes. So to this now, we are going to add in our peas and our green beans. I'm going to give that a quick stir. And let this, we're going to let this cook for about another 30 minutes. Alright, so this has been going another 30 minutes. So to this, we're going to add in our hot sauce. And we're going to add in our cabbage. And we're going to give this a good mix. And we're going to let this cook down a little more. And I'm probably going to add about another two cups of water to this. Alright, so this has been going for a bit, so now we're going to add in our brown gravy, and what I've done is I pulled out a bit of my chicken, uh, chicken broth, my beef broth, and I've mixed in my gravy packets with that. So I am starting with two packets, and we're going to see how thick this becomes. What we're going to do is we're going to turn this down to a low. And we may end up having to add a third packet, but we'll let this go for a bit and we'll see how it turns out. So I did end up adding another package of brown gravy mix to the broth. 
And look at this. This is just wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. And we're going to go ahead and mix this up, set us up a bowl. Get a bunch of the vegetables. Get us some of the meat. And there we go. All right, so soup is done. So we're going to give this a quick taste. Mm. Meat is tender, juicy. We'll give these carrots a try. Mm. Flavors just all blend really well. Oh my god. Perfect for a cold day or if you're feeling a little sickly or a little under the weather. So, but I do hope that you give this recipe a try. Let me know how it turns out for you by leaving a comment below. Always thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this recipe. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more cooking videos. And until next time, enjoy cooking in the kitchen, and I'm going to finish off this bowl of soup.